Well, I mean, I, I, I'm very proud of that first record just because that was our first real recording, you know. But the fact is that we were basically replicating the demos we'd already done. So in a certain way, that was, even though that was, that's, that's, that's like my calling card, look right. sharp, you know. Right. But in a way, that we, I, I, I still have this feeling that many musicians can identify with that, you know, some of the demos were better than what's on the record, you know. It's just always the way it is. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, sometimes there's some magic on the demo that you can never recapture it. Right, the freshness of just working yeah. on a new tune. Yeah, whatever it is, it's just something that's it's a one-shot deal. Yeah. Um, but um, um, night and day album, I mean that 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 was that's very memorable for me because I'd never made a record in the USA before. So and where that was you, exciting. Where did you record that record? It was recorded at Blue Rock Studios, which doesn't exist anymore. It was on Green Street, okay, right, just north of Canal Street, and. Um, yeah, I mean... Uh, and it was I, a very fertile time you became. Then, of course, this thing MTV comes along. Oh, right, 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 <laughs> right. And CDs, too, you know. Right. It's like the first album that came out on CD. That's right, everybody. You know, that's how old that record is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, I always remember Joe. Uh, that was also the first record that Joe actually had demos. Uh, of Some of the songs were demoed. And um, he... Uh, he sent, and obviously he was really into salsa music at the time right. and the Latin rhythms, and so he was trying to incorporate them into a few of the songs. And I remember he sent <laughs> he sent these cassette tapes to the drummer and I, to the drummer and me, mm -hmm. excuse me, <laughs> all you pedants out there. Um, and the, the cassette tapes were uh, a copy of an album called Understanding Latin Rhythms. Oh. And basically it was all these people like Mongo Santa Maria uh, explaining, you know, the merengue and the cha-cha, you know, and where the 2-3 the and the 3-2 claves. And, and Larry and I, I remember we were phoning each other up like, what do you make of this then? I was like, oh, I don't know. It's like so weird. The bass never plays the downbeat. You know, I don't think I can do this, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's how green we were. We really, that, we, we, that was, a, it was like a baptism of fire, really. Right. It's like having to learn to, to play these parts. And God bless Joe. I mean, he could have, I don't know if it occurred to him to bring in real, you know, people that actually understood, right. <laughs> never mind understanding Latin rhythms, people that actually understood Latin rhythms. But, but we, we gave it a good go, and I think we did okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's what gave it the unique energy it has. That's why if he, if he would have brought in studio guys, they wouldn't have had It would have been problem. different, yeah, yeah.